we all heard the saying, time is money. Well, in this video, yeah, time is also money. Uh, who am I to say that it is not? But time is also important for testing. And now it's testing time. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can control the time that the browser thinks we have at the moment in Cyprus. Without further ado, let's get started. I have um, already just a small test in Cyprus, nicely described as Time Master, and it will do what we tell it to do, and that is control the past and control the future. Um, at the moment, it's not doing much. It's just visiting this website, the Browser Spy website. And what does this do? Well, let's just have a look. So it um, opens this website and it tells us the time and date information of our browser. So right now it's September 9, 2022. 720 give or take and we want to be able to do two things well and with those two things i want to show you how you can have full control and also imagine a couple of scenarios here that you might find or when you might find this useful so you have sites um, that perform certain actions or, or behave differently depending on the date. So depending if you're in the summertime or in the wintertime. Um, you have uh, sites which um, show certain offers also depending on dates or depending on how much time has passed between a couple of actions. In all cases you can of course wait until the actual action has has happened but usually as testers we do prefer to have more control to be able to check the scenarios before we actually go into production so um, let's see what can we do or what functionality of Cypress can we use to actually achieve this control of the time well the functionality is really intuitive in the sense that it has a name which is associated with time and the name is CI or not CI the name is actually clock now if I do CI clock and then I open a page especially a page like this that checks the time of my browser you'll see something really nice and the browser thinks it's January 1st 1970 and we are now at the beginning of web of the beginnings of the internet if you want pretty neat right but we do want to have a bit more control so in order to have more control we would need to give the ci clock or the clock uh, function we would need to give it a date and or basically a time not a date we can try with a date so if we say i don't know um 10 10 20 50 and then run yeah it will not allow it because it only accepts a number or some options and this is actually a string i mean we can give it um, a number so a couple of a couple of uh, actual seconds but that is for us not that easy to calculate as you can see now we're generally second 1970 uh, because we are this amount of milliseconds away from January uh, first and that's the way how you control it you basically give it um, this this information now for us as a normal human being to calculate this it's not that easy at least not for me but no problem we can actually create um, constant and give it the name time 
and this one we can make it uh, in a format that um, we can then use so that we have full control over the clock and this time so for this one we do new date and here we say date and UTC and here we actually give it like you see we have the year so let's say we are 2020 to uh, the month um, let's make it October so we're a bit in the future and we make the 10th of October and from all of this we just do get time and then we give this constant to our clock and if we did everything correctly we should see right now that we are November 10th 2022 so we are in the future of course you can play around you can put here I don't know the year 8000 and see if that still works and apparently it does yeah I hope to see this video or to see you in the year 8000 although I kind of doubt it at the moment and actually this is all about the video this is how you can control the time in the browser write in the comments what scenarios um, you would see as this being useful maybe you saw others um, besides the one that I mentioned before write in the comments what others what other uh, nice Cypress features you would like uh, to see maybe other tips and tricks I do have my own list but I'm always eager to hear what you have to think and as always thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye